What's up, guys? Welcome to another day in the life of a medical student. If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith, and I'm a second-year medical student at the Mayo Clinic. Today is the first day of a new block, which is always special. We're starting nephrology, where we learn all the physiology and pathophysiology of the kidneys. It's about 5 in the morning, and if you've seen my vlogs before, you know we're starting our day with a bit of journaling and self-reflection. I answer two questions, how will I make the most of this day, and what am I thankful for? Thinking about how I can evolve throughout the day is what shifts my brain from thinking about curling up and going back to bed, to actually wanting to accomplish something today. And of course, a bit of gratitude always does wonders. Then it's time to get to work, which for me means Anki time. If you don't know, Anki is a study tool that uses flashcards to facilitate active recall and space repetition. My study buddy Blaze comes to say what's up and looks at me as if to say, can I get up on this chair that we both know I'm too big for? And since I can't resist the puppy eyes, that chair has essentially become his throne. I like to spend around two hours studying before the day starts, so just in case the motivation wears out by the afternoon, I can still convince myself that it was a productive day. It's now around 7 in the morning and time to get ready for class, but Blaze asked if he can show you guys something special. Blaze has been wanting to show you guys his little brother's room because he's clearly just as excited as mom and dad. After getting dressed, I make a cup of coffee, which by the way is already cup number two, and I head off to campus. We park in a parking lot and take shuttles to different areas of campus, and on the bus ride that takes approximately three and a half minutes, I still try and crank out as much Anki as I can. I get to class and see two of my favorite people, Jess and Paige, and because I'm early, of course this means more Anki. I started the day off with around 700 reviews to get done, I did about 400 at home, and use every moment of free time I can to finish these reviews. I'll actually be adding new cards when I get home tonight, so I have to get my reviews done as soon as possible. Our professor simulates being a patient with different kidney diseases and has students practice interviewing him and taking notes. So I've got type 2 diabetes, and you were following me as an outpatient for several years. And then my kidney function just slowly got worse. These are always good opportunities to see how patients may present to us and give us a chance to practice synthesizing all the information they give us. After the first lecture of the day, I head to the student center with a few of my classmates to get a bit more work done. This is a Snicker bar salad. Jose, oh, fill them in. The Midwest oh, man. delicacy. <laughs> so there's Snickers in it, whipped cream. What else, Brad? Granny Smith apples, Granny Smith some apples. caramel because there's not enough in the Snickers apparently. Heart disease, <laughs> oh, vanilla, pudding. That. vanilla pudding. <laughs> yeah, really, it's, it's disgusting. It's, it's a great meal. After discussing the meals that can cause acute kidney injury, I head out to finish the rest of these Anki reviews. This is my friend's favorite place to study, and I don't know if it's because they have computers or if it's because there's a picture of the Mayo brothers and their father staring at you while you work. Either way, it's a pretty productive spot. I finally crank out the rest of my Anki cards, finishing all 700 of my reviews, and I head out to join our classmates for the second lecture. After class, I throw on Audible, I'm currently listening to Will and absolutely love it, get back on the shuttle and head for home. Of course I forgot where I park, so I have to wander the parking lot looking for my car, hoping that the combination of looking completely lost while videotaping myself walking through a parking lot doesn't look too embarrassing. Made it through the first day of renal. Let's get home. I come home to see that Madison has been shopping, but since she's the one who makes the money, I just hope she got me something. 
Blaze doesn't know whether I'm a stranger or his dad, but eventually he recognizes that we're not getting robbed and everything's good. It's now around 5 p.m. and I FaceTime Madison, who's still at work getting ready to coach basketball practice and catch up to see how our day has been. Then I mosey my way back to where it all started for a final round of studying. At least that's what I planned to do, but just ended up convincing myself to check Instagram. I tell myself that I have five minutes, but it really ends up being closer to 15. Eventually, I grab some food and finally get to work. I watch videos on the topics that we are going over tomorrow to get a general understanding of the material. Then I unlock some new cards on that material and do the final Anki grind of the day. We end at about 850 cards. Just in time to welcome Madison home from her long day of work. I finish up my day doing a little bit of research on the couch and enjoying the evening with the family. I hope you all enjoyed this day in the life video. It pretty much sums up what most days look like for me in medical school when I'm not in the clinic or hospital. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, keep evolving and I'll see you guys in the next one.